Have you ever wondered why sometimes people in the movies get stabbed in the throat to save their life? My little brother was asking me about this the other day, and I'm going to explain to you why. So, this, my, my neck, it's very easy to see on because there's something weird about my neck. I have this muscle, I have this muscle, right? And then here, I have my windpipe or my trachea. If you go down and down and down, you'll feel a little bump, and you can kind of see my, that's where the Adam's apple is. So underneath there is a flat membrane called the cricothyroid membrane. And that membrane gives you direct access into the airway. Why would someone want direct access to the airway? Well, if you're choking above that and you've blocked the airway above that, and somebody can't breathe and they're going to die, or if like in wartime someone's been shot in the face, well, so then you would make a hole here, right underneath that, so that they can breathe. Because then air can come in and out. Now, why we don't do this routinely, when you do that, you damage a lot of the structures that are important for speaking. So you don't want to be making holes there. And that's why we learned the Heimlich Maneuver, which I will talk about a different time. Now, what if you want to perform an emergency crike to save somebody's life? Well. You can learn to do that. It actually doesn't take that long to take EMT classes, which will make you eligible to take classes like the ones I'm going to link below. This procedure takes about an hour to learn. It's not that hard and it can save somebody's life. Now, not that hard doesn't mean that it's so easy that this two minute YouTube video has prepared you to do it. In general, risks versus benefits. If there's somebody better, always get somebody to somebody better. Don't do crazy things to people's necks. People have been sued for doing that. On the other hand, don't let somebody die because you're afraid of getting sued. Get someone to a hospital. That's the best way to save somebody's life. But if you are in the middle of the jungle, as I have been, and there isn't going to be a way to get somebody to the hospital, and you have tried two different ways to get stuff out of somebody's throat and their face has blown off, that could be a situation in which you're not going to make it worse if somebody's face is almost gone to try to achieve an airway. You would have to know, however, how to tell that they're not breathing. So you need to know how oxygen saturation. The problem is you really don't know what you don't know unless you have studied. So learn what you don't know. Read some of the articles below and they will help you to better understand under what circumstances we do these things and maybe get yourself trained. Yeah.